Good afternoon. We are halfway through day six here at General Council 43. And this morning, as a fun way to start the day, our friends of court asked people to indicate how many general councils they'd been to. So they were asked to put their hands up if they'd been to five or more, put their hands up if they'd been to 10 or more, and then 15 or more we didn't get anyone with hands up. So we backed up and went to 11 and 12. And we had someone at 12 and we thought they were the winner, but later learned that Doug Goodwin, Executive, Executive Secretary of BC Conference, was not in Cork at the time that this fun event happened. And he has, in fact, been to 14 general councils. So welcome, Doug. Good. Thank you. <laughs> it's fun to have a chance to just talk with you. And in 14 general councils, this is the first time I've been interviewed. So. Well, there we go. Glad we could get that in the books. <laughs> so what was the very first general council that you went to? Uh, the first one was 1984, so it was in Morden, uh, okay. Manitoba. Okay. Yeah. And since then, have you been to every single one? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And is there a certain general council that stands out for you as a highlight? Yeah. Yeah, uh, 1988 in Victoria, uh, definitely a highlight. Yeah. Partly because of the um, oh, the long debate that went on before in the church, uh, the good uh, debate conversation that was happening in the court, the the, the drama of it, mm. when it really looked like we we're getting to a place where there was there could be real agreement, and then. Uh, that kind of broke mm -hmm. apart, and we had to make a real tough uh, vote, mm -hmm. but a, a wonderful vote, as yeah. it turns out. So, yeah, that's, uh, that really sticks out. Really momentous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And to see what it's meant in the life of our church. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, that decision has, has uh, so en enriched our church. Uh, you know, to see the result of it, I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that's been great, too. And was there a particular general counsel that was the hardest or the... Least fun? Well, <laughs> maybe not any particular general counsel that stands out, uh, no. But there's certainly be lots and lots of moments, yeah. or minutes, or hours, <laughs> or days, which maybe maybe was uh, the least fun. The less fun one. There has been a lot of interminable debate that's gone around about small things. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's been a little frustrating. Mm -hmm. What I've noticed at this meeting, though, is uh, that, that's kind of shifted. Mm -hmm. uh, we do tend to be focusing more on the, on the big things uh, in, in general, and, um, and, and that's been kind of heartening. Mm -hmm. And so you've been to 14 general councils, and what have you noticed change in the life of general council over that time? Yeah, uh, well, that's one, uh, the, the debate, although we, we do tend to focus on small things a lot still. Certainly the people, mm. uh, you, you notice the demographics uh, changing. Uh, we have tried to become an intercultural church, and, and I think we are, uh, you, you, you notice that. Uh, certainly uh, uh, younger, uh, more younger leadership, mm. I think. Maybe not the people raising their hands yeah. so much, but around the, uh, around the leaderships uh, being younger, seeing a lot more uh, service dogs mm -hmm. and babies. I was thinking about that. Huh. Again, I think it's uh, the more open church. Uh, we're uh, accepting people who may be in the past, um, you know, weren't quite as uh, able to get here. So, interesting shifts and and different trends over the over the years. So, thank you for taking the time to chat with us. Tell us a bit about the different moments in the life of our church. And uh, I'm glad we got to be your first first general council interview. Yeah, finally. I used to, in the first one, I was behind the camera. Uh, that was one of my jobs. So, so to be on this side, uh, I feel I've come a long way. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks so much, Doug. Take care.